quite bored. I'm just getting myself a drink and something to eat. And then I'll be jumping on and dying horribly. Hi, shiny. So I always do this. I say I'm going to stream. I set a time for it and then never actually prepared when I go live. Right, we is good. Let's get going. I do remember where I was now, and I'm gonna have to learn how to roll again. Seeing as I've been binging a lot of Elden Ring, and I'm fast rolling on that. So back to beef curtains. But yeah, it's uh Yeah, it's gonna feel really weird. I'm gonna constantly be pressing A trying to jump. Right, there's the fat roll. Uh sorcery sorcery is int. Remember what I had. Oh yeah. I got myself a simple cestus. What that does, that regenerates FP, so I can get casts back, basically. But yeah, it's going to feel so weird after having run around in Elden Ring for so long. Level 99 as well, so I still have levels that I can go up to 120. I'm still waiting to find out the... Uh, the PvP cap for uh, Elden Ring as well. Most people are saying uh, so basically for PvP Dark Souls 3 you want to be between 120 or 125 if you're doing melee and you'll all get in the same thing you'll all have decent stats for whatever you want. Elden Ring the stat caps are much higher. So you can see my intelligence here is at 58. Uh, it caps out at 60. Um, but that's like a soft cap. So you get like three damage per point up to 60. After that, you only get like one damage per point. So it's not really worth it. Um, Elden Ring is similar, but it's different for pretty much every stat. So, I'm waiting to find out what some of the stats are. Like, I know Vigor and things like that are capping out at, like, 20, 30 in Elden Ring. But, like, there are certain spells and incantations that you need like 70 80 in a stat to cast so like i know there's at least one spell that you need 80 intellect to cast so it's basically whatever they get around to the community gets around to like deciding around about what it'll be so my elder ring character at the moment is 120 and I've not leveled him up anymore. But. 
and I'm in a decent place with it at 120. But if the PvP communities I watch come out and say, now nah, we're all going to go for, say, 150, it means I've not already overleveled and I've got another 30 points to play with. Which I can easily do, I've got so many rooms in that game just stashed in my inventory. Oh yeah, we've got the flies, we've got the maggots again, don't we? I need fire. Um, where's my fire? Do I have torch? I do. This one. Keep pressing wrong button. Keep pressing Y to do things. But yeah, it, it all depends upon what the the community decides to run with. So I'm just staying at 120 while doing the rest of the game for now. But yeah, I'm uh... Go away, you. I'm smashing through some of the bosses on it as well. I have fought two of the big optional one. Go for it, Bart. Godric is a fun fight as well. Like, it's a good introduction. Right, what's through here? Um, I can barely remember where this goes up. Barely remember my way around this place. Or all these horrible... Wrong button again. There. No shock. Oh, it's the doors. There we go. Right, back down we go. That horrible gurgling sound all the time. All the flies down here. The jump seems tiny in this game compared to Elden Ring. You barely leave the floor. Granted, I'm wearing fat armor, so... It's gonna be like that anyway, but... Look at all them over there. Dozens of them in here. Uh, get off. Wait for you to come to me then. Hey, my message got rated. That is something worth doing as well, Bart. An Elden Ring. You stick a couple of useful messages down. Because in this it gives you a f like a free heal. In Elden Ring it gives you a buff where you get more runes. So like you can just passively get more stuff. Which message? Typical would be this one, the only message I've done on this character. Ugh. 
This place is horrible. Yeah. I'm looking for a lever. Something like that. I know it's down here, I can just never remember where. There. I'm not going to go straight to the centre because that's always, always a trap. Especially with an item there like that. There's our lever. Uh, he's spitting maggots at me again. There, let's get rid of him. Anymore. We've got you lot on that pile there. We've got a couple in the corner. Some down the back. Right, uh. You're Godfrey. <gasps> Granted, a few of them look similar. They've just got like extra bits added on. There's our buddy Frida. Look, I opened the secret door. Right, there is another boss for me to go and find. I've just remembered. But even though I've unlocked this boss fight, I want me going to do it straight away. I might give it one bash just to see what it's like. But there's another boss in this area I need to go and kill. Beep 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 beep. As ashes will be ever, ever seeking fire. fire. Right, time to beat up more flies. Ah, get off, get off. Something you might not know, which applies to all Souls games. If you get grabbed, mash the two trigger buttons to get out of the dra grab faster. So you ma mash those two. You'll get out of grabs faster. Applies to all Souls games. Right. What's this? Wilhelm set. How many more of you are there? Is it this group here? Right, you've spotted me. Get off. Get off. Uh -huh. Are you secret door? Most obvious secret door. Uh, anything else? Grab this from middle of the room. Blood gem. <coughs> Not even anything useful. Huh? <gasps> Shiny. Come here, you. Twinkling titanite. And another one. Come here. Give me your loot. Little twinkling bug. There we go. Anything here? No, no, 
nothing here. What's out this way? This is the way down to the other boss. Let's go this way then. Um, what was the route? Gonna need this. Pretty sure. Yeah, down this way. Wee. Be wary of inattention, I know. This way. And then this way. And then this way. Down all the big roots. And then we can land on top of the arena. Fuck. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, this is the DLC. This is the first DLC called Ashes of Ariandel. There's two major bosses. But, um Where was the uh, thingy room? I can't even remember. Oh yeah, there was a shortcut the other way, wasn't there? Uh, travel back to the chapel. Yeah, there's two main bosses for this. One of them unlocks the PvP arena, and one of them is the like, end boss of the DLC. Uh, where's that door I opened here? So I'm just going to run past the flies this time. Bugger them. I'm alright. Work was lazy ish day. I had some. A couple of stupid things to deal with that were basically people messing up and we never should have had to deal with in the first place, but it's part of the job. So you're the stairs up. You go up there, you go down. So I need to go this way. Where was the secret entrance? I've forgotten. Ugh. Here, Over here, I'll just run past all of you. It's here. Yeah, it was uh, unfortunately part of the job for me and Beth is cleaning up other people's messes. <gasps> it is blocked. And now I'm going to fall to my death again. Blech. No, I am uh, failing miserably at remembering the controls because I'm too used to eldering stuff now. Keep trying to jump and shit. Right, back out the door. And to fat roll my way through. So I need to go down. Yeah, it's even worse because I'm fast rolling in Elden Ring. And I'm fat rolling here. So I'm having to readjust everything. <gasps> what have you found?
Let's see. Let everybody else see. Oof. Mimic tier after tanking millennia's 50 hit combos. <laughs> yeah, mimic tier is great. I have uh, there's mimic tier, and there's the assassin one. If you've found the assassin one yet, are both so strong. The assassin is great as well because it just dodges everywhere. It even does the whole uh, teleport thing, you know, it disappears and reappears closer to them. But yeah, Mimic is great fun. I need to get a, a video at some point of when I've called him in on one of the um, world bosses. Because I've outfitted myself with the dragon lightning spells. And some of the dragon lightning spells are crazy. I just fill the screen with lightning. Right. Survived this time. Ooh. Parting flame. I drew a... Thought you were going to bed. <laughs> Paramancy flame of livid paramancer Donnell that attracts the echoes of death. Donnell lost his hideous spirit. He gave his own paramancy flame as offering, which transformed into a parting flame. Not long after, Donnell became a mad spirit damned to wander the lands. <laughs> Nor is truer. So this is the painted world arena from Dark Souls 1. And to fight a boss, I can literally just drop down. Which is what I'm going to do. Pretty sure it's a safe drop. Or not. Another way down? Maybe. One thing about fat rolling as well, like, you take more fall damage, which I did not know until I started doing this run. Like, if you are fat rolling, you take more damage for falling the same distance. Not, not a safe drop. I'm wondering if I can land on this branch, though. Hi Spike. Trouble. THX for the gift sub again. Also hi. Hi Spike. How are you? Yeah, I thought I might slide anyway, but I was gonna give it a go. Right. Uh. So. The actual way down. I'm trying to remember now. Ooh. I'm alright. I'm having to relearn all of the controls. There you go. Now, let me climb this like a ladder. There. Yeah, I was saying, Spike, I'm too used to Elden Ring controls now, so I keep pressing the wrong thing. Right. This is the bit I'm just going to have to run. Because I do not have the resources to fight all these guys. There's two things in the world that I hate more than anything, and that's one, racial intolerance, and two, the Dutch. 
spike. This one. Avoid the guy with exploding arrows. <laughs> It's a corpse. Somebody fell trying to chase me. Right. Snag this bonfire while I'm here. Right. Uh, you go in there. You go in there. You go in there. You go in there. I have the seed of a giant tree on me. And I have it on my equip bar, but I've not been invaded for ages. I'm going to leave it there just in case. Um, but I am going to pop an ember. Because why not? Uh, crab. Hello. Crabs. There. Crystal jam. Crystal gem. Where is it I actually need to go to? This way or is it the other way? It is this way, right. Let's top up a little bit. on as well. Time for a boss fight. Oh yeah, this is gonna hurt. I've forgotten how to play. Right, uh... Doggos. Doggos are around to the right. I wonder if I can take them out before fighting him. I probably can. Right, that archer can't see me down here. We can't. Cliff's in the way. Right, um. Can I get the other doggos round here without triggering the. No, I don't think I can. Never mind.
So you go closer one. I can trade, but I don't really want to trade with him. Not unless I really have to. Uh, try this way. comes in so I need to take him out quick because his friend will wreck him like <laughs> I know what, be, what might be useful here actually an idea. No, it's not. I fucked up. <laughs> that's, that's the dumbest move I've ever done. Uh, tune spell. So we're going to get rid of you. We're going to get Dragon Breath. Blech. So, I can't get the first set of wolves separate to him. So, we do need this way instead. Dragon Breath works. It's expensive, but it works. Stop that. Just let me hit you properly. Dragon Breath worked, but not as well as I hoped it would. So I'm just going to stick with Sword and Crystal Soul Spear. Sword seems to work alright on him. I can stagger him after a few hits. It's just getting the staggers in. The Muffin Man underscore. Muffin Man underscore. So you the other one Get you Get 
now. What I don't want to do is get caught in one of his combos. to rush him with the uh my sword spell so rush him with a sword spell then i can use the big spear on the dog unless right i'll try rushing him with a sword see if i can't take him out if that doesn't work I might try switching to the dog and taking that out before I finish him off. Because I remember the dog not having anywhere near as much health as he does. back off a bit. Yeah, I actually do a decent chunk to you. I've just got to not get hit. My dog will angry. So Doc does have his own enrage. But he takes a shit ton of damage. It's like four soul spears to kill him. Have you tried winning? No. I'm only failing at the moment, Spike. Right. Get this back on. Switch this down. Get rid of the other spells to make it quicker to page. So... Tune spells, get rid of you, get rid of you. You should give it a try, it's sweet. <clears throat> right. I'm not going to need anywhere near as many refills on casts either, so we will knit back to Firelink and get a lot more healing. How far have you got in, uh... Oh, the ring then, Spike. Where are you up to? Who have you been fighting? Ah, uh, a lot, Estus. We'll go for 3 and 12. Right. 
<gasps> Doing roast. Got another survival game to uh, be addicted to. Uh, I have a. Uh, I'm on my way to another one of the like hidden areas in Elden Ring. Which is fun because I'm following the quest lines to do it. Although I got horribly lost on one yesterday. I finished work at like five yesterday. And just played it for a bit afterwards. Spent like two hours lost trying to work out where this quest was sending me. Hi back. Come on, doggo. Come this way. Wait. There. Oops. <laughs> I wish I could turn that quick turn round off, quick turn off. Whenever I do it, it's by accident. Whenever. It's like one of the things I like about Elden Ring is that it can turn the uh, gesture emotes off. Because there's no option to do that in Bloodborne and I can't tell you the amount of times I've died in Bloodborne. I accidentally doing dead gestures instead of like healing or something. Right. Come here, doggo. Right. Oh, trouble. Can you now call me, sir? No spike. Not until you've finished Asshole's game. Ah. Do not like combo. Asshole's game. Yes, Asshole's game. Get this guy down. Ah. See, Doggo, I can get take care of because he takes a shit ton of damage, but I need to get that guy down as soon as possible after the dog comes in. But after this dude, it's straight into another boss fight. So, get some stamina back as well. Need stamina for casting spells. Dog all one. I'll go too. Come on. I'll go three. Now it's just you. Oh, 
Sir Sugmatic, Dragon D's Nuts, I Swallow Cum, Cum Stain, Phil MC Rack, Phil Maddock etc etc. Uh. Yeah, it's the dog's charge attack thing. So I was trying to get on the other side of the pillar to avoid it. I just ended up in the wrong spot. What am I going to do though? Switch out to the stamina shield. It's less damage, but I think the stamina will do me better at this point. Still two swings. It's fine. the side of the pillar from the dog. You are the wrong thing to be hitting, but... To be honest, I just want the distance at the moment. What I might do this time is go after the dog. Dog takes a shit ton of damage, so we'll get. Should spell. We want sword first. Then we want you. Then we want crystal soul spirit. So what I'm going to try this time is. What I'm going to try this time is when the dog comes in, get some distance and go for the dog with the quicker casting spell with the heavy soul arrow. We'll see how well that works. Like the other dude I can, I can deal with, I can distance well enough and the only spell he seems to have is the little dart. That does a bit, but not much damage. Um, you can get used to it. But there are certain attacks you will just never be able to dodge. Because you you have a lot less iframes on a fat roll. So some quicker attacks you can still dodge through. 
but some longer attacks you have no chance because you physically don't have enough eye rains for it. Or if it's like a combo, it takes so long for you to recover from it. But like I can dodge that stab there if I time it right. But if it's like part of a combo, I might be able to dodge one or two parts of the combo, but not the follow-up. That's how bad the fat rolling is. Plus, you don't physically get as far away either. And the distance always helps. See, that then... He hit me, I was spamming roll then, and I just couldn't do it because of the, the amount of time it takes my character to recover. Right, Bobo's coming in. Get some distance. We're going after Doggo. Oh, you do a decent amount. The important part here will be keeping distance and keeping mana up. Because he does this madness. Oh, I need heal. been there for ages, Spike. It's been there since I was doing Paper Mario. Yeah. <laughs> I made it myself. <laughs> yeah, the newest ones are the Dutch one. Whoops. Uh, the Jigglypuff, and uh, who's that Pokemon? Oh, and the Bobby Hill one as well. Right, that seems to work. I just need to get better at dodging the dog's dashes. I can dodge his dashes all right. And get out of his Frost Bear. I'll be able to uh, tech him down and then finish off this nerd. And yes, Spike, you always do your TTS at the worst times because you're a little bitch. Who can stab? Get here and let me hit you. Top off. Right, let's top up this. Go go! Roll on. We're still the magic. The other guy wants to chase me. Right, we gotta circle around is what we need to do. to listen for the other guy. Right, now he's angry. We go for the big stuff.
gonna take me a while. Right. Um. Back to flash sword. Flash sword works right at first. Unfortunately, this guy has the new AI, so he's good at dodging actual spells. Otherwise, I'd just lay into him as he was walking towards me. Yay! Right, come on, doggo. Got you both. So if I try and cast at you now, dodge. So I've got to be flash sword. To be in with a chance of hitting him. other quicker ones on um just had a heavy he's great faster cast And then I can finish off the little dude with flash sword. Bum 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 bum. Right, dog. you so that leaps actually a blocking attack Soul Arrow does to the dog. Ah, right on 
on top of me. again. percent block what you'll do. So that's a shield break.
Hi Blinden. It's taking a lot of adjusting and this boss is painful. Especially fat rolling it. I have a strategy for it, it's just there. Plus when the dog goes berserk, I just get wrecked. So I've kind of got used to the controls again. I'm not trying to jump or pressing Y to activate stuff, but... It's especially difficult after having a fast roll character on Elden Ring. Having to fight both at once is the problem. Right, both on top of me. Have you seen how long it takes me for, to get up after falling over as well? That's another component of the fat roll. Frostbite. Because if you get knocked over or something while fat roll, like while you've got heavy armor on, it takes longer for you to recover. So if he does knock me over, but yeah, the wolf is the problem. I might... Might switch back to just... Laying into the guy. Then I can deal with Wolf on his own, but we'll have to see. Nah, I fucked it. Messed up that rush in for the third bell. Right, I'll be back in a second because I need the loom. So I will leave you with uh, fancy bonfire sounds.
No, Bart, you are the Pepega. Right. I'm just going to check what other spells I have on me. Flush Sword. Soul Stream. Don't think any of these are going to be useful. Stick Pestle and Mist in for shits and giggles. Um... Yeah, I've been up since like half seven this morning. And then we'll stick you back on. <laughs> yeah, I had to be up early to take a delivery of medicine. And then get shit ready to work. Digged around for a little bit, started work at half, at 12 o'clock and worked from 12 to late. And then I'm actually in the office tomorrow from like half 10 to half 6. Which is annoying because it means I might miss a bunch of Alex's stream. I don't know whether he's still doing it daytime or evening. Right. allowed to do that. Oh, that combo worked well. is hitting me. Alright, hey, Brendan. Yeah, Pest on the Mist is useless. Crystal, homing crystal. Math is alright, but if he's blocking it does nothing, so get rid of you two. Um you're the one that falls from the sky. See if I can't get a stagger in or something with Aaron with the Faron Hill. No worries, Bart. But yeah, I did say if there was any part of this run that was gonna cause me trouble, it would be the DLCs. It seems to be coming true. Just for shits and giggles. You do nothing. Literally.
Stop hitting me. Using combos you've done like once before. stage he just dodges like crazy so Just to breast my brain a bit, I'm going to go and punch the other boss at least once. Just to rest my brain. But yeah, Fire and Hell was useless. Absolutely no point using that spell. Um... So, travel back up to the chapel. Um, I'm on, I'm at the end of the first DLC, Brendan. So I've got that boss down there and Frida herself to fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um... I know it can be done, pure sorcery at least, because I've seen pure sorcery done. I'm not sure if it's possible while fat rolling. Hi Greg. I was getting my ass kicked by the other boss, so I've come to give this one a bash. The wolf boss was painful. I've got this one to do. Father Ariandel. Oh. Claim Frida to me, please. Yo. Canst thou not see? The flame flickering once. Yeah, Sister Freed. Or she Elfried, however you want to say it. I can see it. Feel it. But yeah, the, uh. Champion Grave Tender, I'm okay with until the wolf comes and then the wolf just wrecks me. So we'll see how Freed is doing. We have no need of thy flail. Although this, this could just be just could be just as bad because this one is like an endurance. Please avert thine eyes. Bitch, do you drug do you dodge? No, you just take it in the face. It's fine. Frostbite, though. 
caves, for that is thy place of belonging. Yeah, I have seen people do fat rolling, and I've seen people do uh, pure sorcery. I've never seen somebody do both together, so I think it's possible, but we'll have to see. <laughs> 130 hours, they must have been playing it non-stop. She does dodge. Bitch. See? I dodged the actual hit, but I was still within range of the actual frostbite AoE. She always goes behind when she does that bit. I know you're there. Bitch. Yeah. Got her while she was turning invisible. Right the way, big man. Jumps and goes behind. There. Let me alone. Let me heal. Return from whence thou camest, for that is the place of belonging. All day, every day. Nice. I'm doing freed, I'm definitely going to need more casts. But at least I know homing works when she's invisible. Right, back to Doggo. Yeah, I don't have any holidays until May now. Can I get my birthday off? And a few days around it. Do what all? Use one of these, shall we? I forgot to switch back to sword spell. Never mind. Yeah, I'll be doing Ring City as well, Greg. I'm not looking forward to the end of that. Tender with just regular spells. See? Because he's got the PvP AI. Or the Invader AI, I should say. I wonder. Oh. 
guy. Just one. Turn. There is no bonfire in here, is there? Is there? I don't know. You look like a bonfire. There you are. Light. Let's see if I can't go get myself a level. Uh. Nan. It's on to Freed. Can't remember how much levels are now. Very well, then touch take Ah, 265. Uh, you two can go in there, because I've got the coiled sword fragment. Um... You go in, you go in. There we go. Right, um... Welcome. Very well. What was I leveling up? Yeah, bugger it, more damage. Who's that Pokemon? It's Pikachu! <laughs> it's Clefairy! Fuck! Yay. Hi, Biff. You just missed me doing a crazy dog boss. Right, I need to re-allot these because I'm going to need more casts. Um, you're all updated. You don't need doing anything. Right. Uh, what are we going to need for Elf Reed? We're going to need some quick spells. Uh, you're going to be useless. We'll go for Great Heavy. Go for Crystal Soul Spear. Um. 
um, use you for the big guy if I get the chance. How are you doing, Beth? That was a wrong bot fire. Oops. Um, that's the one we wanted, Ariandel Chapel. To fight the end boss of this DLC. <laughs> Fridge freezer with broken drawers. Yeah, that was, that thing was a mess. That was all funny. Great heavy soul arrow. Oh no, that's why I wanted the, the homing spell for when she turns invisible. one doesn't seem so bad. I need to get my little crystal dudes out for the invisibility bit. Yeah, you could just deal with me with my scruffs tomorrow, Beth. I am, uh, only in for a Friday, so I'll bugger it. Although we're not in till half ten, so I'm gonna go and get me some breakfast in town before I start. Now we cast this. No sneaky for you. Phase one done. Out of three. So she fell down dead. Oh yeah, I've got the see-through cans again. Right. He is not happy. Play with fire, kids. See, there is an NPC summon you can use for this as well. 
but trying to do stuff without summons even if there are good story reasons to use it because you can get our uh, our good buddy slave knight gale to help right phase two shit's on fire Oh no! Gonna fight more for the gods. And she has big AoE in this. And he has health as well. Oop. Oh yeah, I can shoot at him for this, can't I? Stop that. damage I do to her. This is big combo time as well. Ah, bitch is invisible again. doing a decent amount of damage to her. Phase 2 isn't so bad because I can hit Daddy Ariandel as well. So. Give it to you. I mean Crystal. Crystal Soul Spear. It is just a case of taking less damage in phase one. some stamina back. Come on. There. Phase one down. Time for both of them together. She's 
course is better at dodging than he is. Boots me that health, please. Can suck me, mum, mate. So, our final stage, not much chance to heal. I'm just gonna have to get good at dodging her attacks or getting out of range of them. more attempts and then I'm going to crash because I can feel myself getting slower and I get no chance of doing this when I'm slower but at least I know Elfried is doable like I've got her quite low I just need to dial it in as if that one tracked her that close as well. Nope, no. Rushing forward for you. Right. Where are you at? There you are. Stop dodging. Oh, she caught me. Uh, 
I gotta say as well, Frostbite is like the worst status effect. It's bad enough fat roll in the way. Frostbite slowing me down as well. Quick, get some distance. Get a bit of distance, I don't want these going off while she's still immune. See what we'll do just for the hell of it. Right, she's done the fire. Execution move. Can I scare to phase three consistency? I just need to get there with more healing. So I might have to quick leave it with the quicker spell and just chip her down in phase three. But we'll make this one the last attempt. Me, 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 me. your footprints. There you is. There. Can't see him. She's healing already. How dare you. Fully top up. I'm gonna go for great heavy. It's gonna mean more casts, but 
it'll be faster, so maybe easier for me to get them off. So now she does the big explosion. Yeah. That was the wrong flask. Oh well, we did all right. Got her to phase two then, or phase three, barely using any healing or anything. So we'll get her next time, definitely. So let's sit down here. And I'm going to set this here. There we go. <sighs> well, shall we go and find somebody to raid? We've got shit to do. Um, but, but who's on at the moment? We go and harass. Hello. Oh no, it's been slow. I know, but I'll go and say hello to GD. Doing his, uh... His first playthrough of Dark Souls 2. So he's going to put more fall to shame for us. So, go and say hello to GD, everybody. Thanks for coming, Bart, and Brendan, and Greg, and anybody else who was lurking. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next week. So I'll post my schedule up in Discord again, and I'll, I'll post on getting into the habit of posting on Twitter again when I'm going live and stuff. But yeah, we'll be doing Pokemon if my internet works properly and then we'll be trying to kill Elfried next week but well, I'll see you all next time so go and say hello to GD have fun he's playing Dark Souls 2 it's going to be rough for him but he's going to put more fall to shame which is the important thing so see you all next time and bye bye